Hey Scouts, so as we prep for the backpacking that we're going to be doing for the Backpacking Bear Badge this year, I wanted to give you guys the rundown of my gear here so that you can see what you're putting in your packs versus what's in mine. Starting on this side, food. That is going to be a whole separate discussion here for us. Uh, as you can see, I'm not packing the kitchen sink. Sleeping bag. This is a zero degree sleeping bag that's in a dry bag. Dry bag is not required. If you want to use one of the thin material uh, bags that your sleeping bag comes in, perfect, great. It'll save a little bit of weight. I have a little bit of extra weight just to make sure that my sleeping bag is dry. This is a, this is Reflectix. It's basically two sheets of aluminum foil with some uh, bubble wrap, extra uh, barrier against the ground. This is my water source. Um, you could choose to use a uh, water bladder or water bottles. I specifically chose to use water bottles because my water filter fits right into it and I can just uh, twist it on, squeeze it, good to go. Tent. This is a lightweight tent. Uh, it only weighs I think like three or four pounds. Uh, sleeping pad. I sprung a little bit of extra money for my sleeping pad. Uh, I think it was like 30 bucks on eBay. Uh, makes it a lot, a lot more lightweight, a little bit more compact. Um, optional item is this hat. It's a pretty cool hat that has uh, mesh in it to keep you cool and a, a mesh that snaps on to the back of the hat to cover your neck to keep from uh, sunburn. So if you're going to the uh, Grand Canyon, for example, you won't get sunburned as bad. Toilet paper and trowel, uh, definitely required items. If you think you can, if you have to go on day one, you think you can hold it to day three, you're going to be having a bad time. Bring your trowel, bring your toilet paper, you're good to go. Not required item here, glow sticks. Um, you can use those for night games, being able to see around the camp. I bring those as an extra to my flashlight. My multi-tool has knife. Um, I can open it up to pliers. Clips on my bag on the outside. Bee sting kit, if you are allergic to bees, um, please bring a bee sting kit with you. I will have mine just in case. My water system here is a Hydra Blue that you can twist those bottles onto, squeeze the water through, and get your water filtered. The other popular one is the Sawyer Squeeze that you basically just twist the water bottle onto, hold up your mouth, squeeze. Um, you can kind of do that with this one, but the Sawyer Squeeze is a pretty popular one to be able to do that with. Um, an excellent backup is the tablets. They take a little bit longer to work. I think it's like a half hour or so. It has the instructions in the bag. There's like 30 tablets in here. It'll last me like a week. and uh, these are an awesome backup to have to whatever water filtration system you choose to take out with you. First aid kit, I have a little wrap here. I've got some gauze pads, some triple antibiotics, some, uh, a variety of uh, band-aids, and some um, alcohol pads. You don't need to take an entire massive first aid kit. Take what you need. If there's seriously an injury out there, we'll get you back to a medical center. No problem at all we can go out on other trips. We want you to be safe. Uh, personal item here, knots card, a whole bunch of them in here so I can practice my knots or if I forget while I'm on the trail, I can just reference that real quick. Uh, Morse code chart and phonetic alphabet. I always wanna get better on my Morse code so I bring that with me for practice. This pack I got at the, a local thrift store for like five bucks. What I ended up doing was cutting out the inside of it here and I can fit my gear that's over here, right inside the pack. My sleeping bag does go underneath in the dry bag, so if it's rainy outside, I don't have to worry about it. This is a trash compactor bag, a little bit more stout. I put that in as a liner. Um, these items do not go inside of this. These go in first, I put this in. All this gear goes inside of it. Keeps all my gear um, a lot more protected if it were to rain. Now these, these are one of my favorite. These are down socks. Uh, they do cost a little bit, but totally worth it. My feet get cold at night. So this is one of my favorite items that I have for my sleeping bag. I find it keeps my feet much, much warmer. It's awesome. Ask me about it while we're out camping. I'll definitely recommend them. Now I opted for a rain suit over a rain jacket and pant. Um, even though I was able to find some nylon rain jackets and nylon pants, 
and whatnot, I found that they just didn't keep me dry as expected, so I went with the rain suit. Um, this is an important part of it, non-PVC. Uh, this way, this material is able to breathe a little bit. If you do decide to get the PVC one, that's perfectly fine, um, especially they're, they're really cheap, and um, if it's not expected to rain, bring it. When it does, you'll have it. It's a nice little item um, to have your rain suit with you. This is some really thin thermals, uh, thermal bottoms. This is a riding jersey that I have, a long sleeve riding jersey. If it's going to be a bit cold out and I know it's going to be cold, I can use the same thin thermal top and put it underneath this so I can double up on my layers. Um, extra socks, big deal on this one, especially if your feet get wet. A little beanie, perfect for when your head's out of your sleeping bag at night, you throw your beanie on, you'll stay much warmer. Um, extra pair of gloves, these are some fleece gloves. And if you, uh, again, if you know it's gonna be colder, you can bring a little bit thicker of gloves. Just don't, uh, don't go too heavy on your gloves because that's just adding extra weight. This is a grocery bag, which is perfect for if you've got some dirty clothes, um, some muddy clothes or some muddy shoes. When you get into your tent, just pop open this bag, throw your muddy shoes in it, and then you don't have to worry about getting your gear, your tent all muddy. Some Luco tape. Um, you can also use mole skin, which is great for blisters. And you can, uh, if, if you feel you're in a hot spot, if you're getting rubbed raw somewhere, just ask for some mole skin or pull your mole skin out of your pack, put some on, it'll be worth it later. Uh, most of this stuff is, is good to have in your pack. If you don't have it, that's okay. Uh, if you can find it and load it up, great. Sewing kit, a few needles, thread. I've got some safety pins, steel wool, pencils, Super glue, super glue is perfect for if, if, uh, closing up a wound if required. Uh, you can repair some gear on the fly, etc. Uh, pencil sharpener, you can take some twigs through your pencil sharpener and make it easier to light your fire. Whistle, fingernail clippers, tick remover, toothbrush, toothpaste, lip balm, gloss, lighter, backup lighters, or backup uh, matches, these little guys here. Little pack of playing cards, not required on that one. I just uh, bring it as extra so that we have something to play. Baby powder or body powder. If you're getting a, uh, not a, a rash, or if you're getting a, somewhere on your body that's getting rubbed raw, um, you can put body powder on it and that'll definitely help. Hand sanitizer. Uh, hand sanitizer is definitely multi-purpose. Um, you can use it on a wound. You can use it to clean your hands. And as a last resort, you can put this out on some on, on somewhere and light it on fire. It will it'll light on fire. Uh, I say as a last resort, so that it doesn't get wasted. Uh, if you had to use it to clean somewhere, like a wound or your hands before a meal or something, you definitely want to have that. These flossers are a luxury item for me. Uh, even though I've got this floss, I, I really really like these better, and so that's a, a luxury item. Uh, this is the sunscreen. Uh, this is something that I pack a little bit extra for, for you guys, as well as for any of my needs, so that if I'm out there, I can take care of, you know, on my arms, back my neck, etc. Part of the backpacking merit badge requirement is a notepad that you can write down um, your experiences while you're out on the trail, specifically for the five day. This is a buff. Um, you don't have to pay hardly anything for these. I got a bunch of them on eBay. Uh, awesome for something lightweight if you didn't want to wear the hat. Uh, you can cover your, your whole head, your neck, just have this as a sweat barrier. Perfect. Uh, this right here is a cooking item. You can pour hot water into it and we can go in depth on that later. Uh, basically, you put a food packet in there with the hot water and it cooks it because it's insulated. 550 cord. This doubles for my hammock as well as this dry bag. You put your food in there at night, throw the 550 cord over a branch, hoist it up. Um, even if there's no bears in the area, it keeps the critters out of your bag, or out of your tent. Headlamp, wet wipes, bug net. Um, my suggestion is to spring the extra couple bucks and get a little bit nicer of one on, on Amazon. The, the dollar ones that you can pick up at your big market stores, uh, they, don't, they don't quite go down and, uh, and puddle nicely to keep the bugs out, so you, you can have a little bit of a gap. So. If you, if you can spring the extra couple bucks, go for it. Uh, bug spray, luxury item. Yeah. If you feel like packing the extra weight for it. 
a emergency poncho, emergency blanket, compass, a water key, uh, won't go into discussion for that for right now, extra toilet paper, whether it be cleaning yourself, whether it be uh, blowing your nose, etc. Uh, my personal preference is the extra toilet paper versus a tissue pack. So I have two, I carry two rolls of toilet paper. Extra shirt, swim shorts. Swim shorts are a much better alternative than a pair of, of, of just shorts that you may have lying around the house, especially if they're heavier material. Really, that's all the extra clothes you're gonna need. When you wake up on day two, you're most likely gonna stay in the clothes that you were wearing anyway and just keep hiking. So if it's if it's multi-day, like a five day, you may have an extra pair of clothes, but you don't need to bring a change of clothes for every single day. Uh, these are great for water crossings. You can just toss these on, go through waist, or waist deep water. Um, while you're out somewhere, you can go play in the water and not have to worry about getting the, your clothes all wet. Uh, definitely great option for when you're out there. Which gets me to my camp shoes. Uh, definitely an optional item not required whatsoever. Uh, I find these are a luxury item for when I'm around the camp or a water crossing. I can throw these on instead of getting my tennis shoes all wet. Frisbee for when I'm out uh, at camp at the end of a long day we can get out and play. And cook system. Uh, this one is a gel fuel cook system that I I enjoy it for my cooking. Uh, just these little gel containers comes with a built-in cup so I don't have to worry about taking out a mess kit. And there's a lot of different options for cook systems, a, a lot of them. So that's just one that I went with. You, you, you've got the liquid fuel, you've got butane, all that fun stuff. Um, this little plastic fork, spoon, pretend a knife combo. A lot of people will prefer like a titanium or aluminum long handle spoon so they can get down to the bottom real easy. Um, but that's that is my backpacking backpack and a quick overview of everything I've got here. Um, the biggest, biggest, biggest thing to remember is that ounces equals pounds and pounds equals pain. If you have stuff in your pack that's not needed and it's adding up, you will definitely feel it after a whole bunch of miles. So anything that you can do to take a look at your pack and say, you know what, that whatever item that I think I'm going to use, I don't want to bring it because I don't want to pack the extra weight. So just keep that in mind for when you're packing your packs. And uh, if you need anything, let us know. Take the basics and get out there and go pack packing with us and have some fun while you're out there. Anything you need, let us know. And we'll catch you at the next scout night.